Hello everyone, Cool Dude Cobra my here, back again with episode 2 of my Pokemon Heart Gold Randomized Nuzlocke. And today we will be exploring Sprout Tower and getting a few more wild Pokemon encounters. Uh, b between the episodes, I grinded up a couple of my Pokemon, so Sun and Rattles are both level 8 now. Uh, Diamond is almost level 7. So yeah, without any further ado, we are going to... Did I heal everyone up? Okay, I did. Alright, so we're gonna head off and get a few more wild encounters real quick. So yeah, uh, I really love these games. Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, they're so beautiful. The soundtrack, too. We're gonna hold off on the Sprout Tower encounter because I want to get these ones over here first. Because you can get, uh, two of them, I believe. Yeah, two. Alright, cool. So we're gonna head on over here. We can't get anything here because there's the Sudowoodo blocking the way. What's this guy got to say? Yeah, it's the strange tree in the road. Alright, so we're going to make a few stops along the way. First off, we're going to go into the ruins of Alf and get our encounter. <clears throat> we're going to climb on down here, and then we're going to get our encounter. going to run just... Alright, what do we got? A Grumpig. Uh... Hmm, okay, well, we don't have a Psychic type, so this might come in handy, actually. I'm not mad about this. Alright, yeah, let's go ahead and catch this thing. Hopefully I won't kill it with... I mean, I assume I won't kill it with Clamp. Psywave. It missed. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to use one more Clamp on it, and then we're going to try to catch it. There we go. Alright. Now let's throw a Pokeball at this thing. Catch it? No? Hmm. Psybeam. It has two Psychic type moves. That's not bad, actually. That actually does a lot of damage, too, so we are going to switch out into Rattle since he resists that. <clears> or <throat> well, he doesn't resist it. Alright, so we're just gonna keep trying Pokeballs. One shake, two shake, three shake. Got it. Alright, we got Grumpig, the fourth member of our team. Alright, so what are we gonna name this thing? Odd dance steps to influence foes. It's dancing. Let's name this thing. Let's name it, hmm. I don't know. Uh, Dancer. I'm just gonna call him Oliver, because why not? Yeah, Oliver the Grumpig. We'll keep him on the team. I don't think I've ever used a Grumpig in a playthrough, so this could be interesting. Alright, so Oliver has joined the team. I wonder what else we could have got here. Alright, so now we're going to go get another encounter before heading to Sprout Tower. We're going to head on this way, to this route. What's this guy got to say? Oh, just not much. Alright, Route 32. What's our encounter here? What do we got? Give us something good. Alright, we got... Another Steelix. I don't know, was Route 32 the route that we were on earlier? I'm going to say that Route 32 is the route we were on earlier, so I'm not going to count that encounter. So, yeah. Uh, there was only one encounter, but we can still get something in Sprout Tower. So let's just go ahead and get this Apricorn, heal up our Pokemon. I might buy a few more Pokeballs because we still have enough potions, and then I'm going to head off and battle the people in Sprout Tower. It's going to be fun. Alright, let's see. Let's, uh, let's just get a few more. Three more. That seems good. And then potion. Get two more of those. And then one antidote, just in case there's poison. Alright, cool. Now we're off. I'll go heal up my dudes, and then we'll get started. 
And one run of a uh, randomizer Nuzlocke I've had in this game before, uh, Faulkner actually had like a Reggie Gigas, and this was like a uh, fully randomized one with random moves and abilities, and he had a Reggie Gigas that did not have slow start, so that was uh, pretty annoying. Even if Reggie Gigas does have slow start, it's still a really good Pokemon early on because it has just so such high base attack. All right, and he'll head over here. And up into Sprout Tower. Gotta battle all these monks up here. Get up on the ladder, and let's see what our encounter is for up the, this section. Hopefully it's something good. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Ekans! Um, I'm not mad about that, actually. I like using Arbok. I can probably just catch this thing without having to weaken it down, too, so that's good. Because Ekans is already, like, a pretty early game Pokemon. Yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, oh, okay, I know, I know the perfect name for this one. Uh, it's just an inside joke me and a couple other people have. It's a snake, so we're gonna name it Tunnel. Tunnel the Snake. He's the Tunnel Snake. So we have Tunnel. Alright, we still have a nice variety of Pokemon on this team, actually. Let's look at the, uh, let's look at Oliver and Tunnel. Oliver is bold. That's, okay, that's not bad, I guess. And then, Brave. Um, it's plus attack, so that's not bad, and it has shed skin, so that's pretty useful still, so. They're both pretty good. Yeah. Alright, uh, I'm gonna put Tunnel in front so we can switch train him, and, uh, yeah. Cool. Alright, let's see what this Monk has to, has. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm recording a bunch of these in advance, so I'm probably gonna try to keep uploading one a day if I can, but we'll just see. Tunnel? Uh, let's see... I'm gonna just switch him out, so... Into... Let's switch him out into Oliver. Oliver can tank a hit, he's two levels above, and Grumpig is pretty high special defense. Alright, let's go for the Psybeam. Quick attack? Oh, he's not doing that much at all. We're good. We're good. We're in the clear. Oh, jeez, crit. Good job, Oliver. Loudred. I don't think I have anything with a fighting type move yet. We'll go into tunnel. Switch train it. Alright. I'm just gonna switch out again. This time we'll go into diamond. Because I don't know if this thing is gonna have any special moves yet. Howl. Oh, okay. It's raising its own attack. That's a... Uh... That's a bit intimidating. I do have iron defense, though, so if push comes to shove, I can just use that. Okay, never mind. It's dead. It's dead. If any of you guys want to suggest nicknames for a Pokemon for me to name in the future, just uh, feel free to leave it down in the comments. And, uh... Oh, we got Poison Sting. Stab move. A uh, Grottle. Okay, Tunnel can take this thing out. It has Poison-type coverage now, so... Grottle. I really like the uh, the uh, Turtwig line. It's really good. Kind of underrated. It's my favorite of the three uh, Sinnoh starters. This thing still can't hit very hard, though. Uh, I'm just kind of betting it all on a poison at this point. Poison or a crit? Oh, okay, there's the poison. Nice. It's just going to keep raising his defense. I think he knows... Maybe he doesn't know Tackle at this level, because you're only supposed to have... No, he would have Tackle, what am I saying? I think. Yeah, okay, yeah, there it is. He doesn't, he doesn't hit that hard. Let's just have a Tunnel take him out. The thing with these Monks is that they just have strength and numbers in terms of their Pokemon, so... These, these guys can be really dangerous early on, because if they get, like, three really good Pokemon, because they're random, they can, like, pull, tear through your team. 
All right, level five. We defeated Cop Nico. All right, I'm gonna use a potion real quick. There we go. I should need. I probably should sell that Max Revive. I can't use it, so. All right, head downstairs. There's an item right here, so I'm gonna grab that. A Roap Berry. I don't know what that does. Is that one of those uh, specialty berries? Special attack lands. The foe also takes damage. That might be useful, but I'm going to save that for, like, when we're actually in a tough battle with special attackers. Alright, we got another cop. Or monk, but the names changed to cop because I randomized them. Cop Chow. What's he got? Celio. That's not too bad. Celio is, is more of a tank than anything, so this shouldn't be a big deal. Although the, the growl does get a bit annoying. So, uh... Let's go into Oliver. That way they can both hit level 6 at the same time. Powder Snow. <clears throat> Psybeam. That did a lot of damage. He's hitting pretty hard for being uh, this early on. Nice, 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 nice. That's what I like to see. Tunnel levels up. And Oliver... He levels up as well. That's nice. Two for the price of one. Corsola. Uh, diamond. Yeah, diamond's probably going to be our best bet. Actually, I think I'm going to change the battle style to set. I just need to remember to do that eventually. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, it missed tackle. Alright, well. That's salt in the wound for that thing. Let's take it down. Nice. Looking good. Level up. War turtle. This guy had three water types. Um... Let's go into Tunnel again. I really like using uh, Poison types in my playthroughs. Water is my favorite type, but I really like Poison Pokemon too. Uh, I guess just go into Oliver again. Get these two leveled up at the same pace. <clears throat> Psybeam. Nice, nice, nice. Didn't quite kill, but oh well. I want to get rid of Splash as soon as possible on this thing, because uh, it's not going to be useful. Good. That's good. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you. Alright. I think there is... Yeah, there's the item. There's the item. Okay, another berry. I think that one's the... Is that the one that weakens ghost-type attacks? Or... Ice-type attacks, that's right. Alright, cool. Head over here, and we are just about to the point where we have to battle the... Oh, I could have got Shield on? Oh, Shield on's cool. Sinnoh has a lot of cool Pokemon. I really like the Sinnoh fossils. Especially Shield on. I like using a lot of bulky, tanky Pokemon, so Shield on was really cool. Alright, let's just use Water Gun. <clears throat> Take this bad boy out. Nice. Wait, that... Okay, you would think that guy would be, like, looking at the... What's he... Oh, Pikachu. Alright. Neat, 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 neat. Uh, let's just poison sting it. These are some annoying status moves. Alright. Hit it. Ooh, nice. Got the poison, too. Tunnel's putting in work. Thundershock. Eh, that didn't do too much. You would think it would do more. But, oh, crit. Nice. Level up. Oh, yes. Level up. Let's go. Nice. Staraptor. Okay, uh... 
Staraptor is actually kind of a scary Pokemon, so I'm going to go into... Hmm... What's its defense stat? He has the highest defense out of everyone here, I believe. Well, he, okay, fine. I don't want to have... I don't want rattled, Rattles to hold up all the experience, but I'm just going to send him out this once. Because he's already legendary. He has the best stats on the team. I probably shouldn't be afraid of a level 3 Staraptor, considering it probably doesn't even have any flying-type moves, but the but it has a lot of physical attack, so it's kind of scary. Gives a lot of experience, though, considering it's a 3-stage. Uh, Oliver. He's the only level 6 one on the team, so let's try to get him up to level 7. We got a nice team so far. I'm, I like the Pokémon we have. Psybeam. This might one-shot it. Nice, 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 nice. Alright, cool. Defeated Cop Edmund. Got some money. And we're gonna head out. Let's get this item. Blue Scarf. What does that do? What does that do? I, I keep... Oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, okay. It's the beauty aspect. Is... I keep forgetting that I got this. I got this when I was grinding off screen. It was just an item I picked up, so... I mean, I think everyone here has 100% accuracy moves right now, so there's really no point in me giving it to anyone at the moment, but... I'm... Alright, so let's take out these two guys. I'll probably go back to heal after that. Depends on how much damage we take. <clears throat> Cop Jin. He only has one guy. Nine tails. And it's level six. Okay, that thing is actually kind of scary. So I'm going to go into Diamond. Level 6 Ninetales is actually... That's probably got some good special attack. Yeah, it did 3 damage. Which, you know, sure, it isn't a lot, but it resists, and it's a level higher. I don't know. I could just be worried too much since this is a Nuzlocke. Oh well. Let's just go ahead and... Shoot the water, and take him out. Tunnel. Nice. We defeat Cop Jin. That was not nearly as bad as I thought it was being. I think my mind was just kind of making it seem worse than it actually was. He's supposed to give us the TM for Flash, but I don't think he actually does. I think that HMs stay the same in this randomizer. Jirachi! Um. Well, I mean. I'm just gonna go into. Oh, well, wait, does he have Confusion? It does have confusion. Alright, so if this... Oh, please don't kill. Okay, that's actually scary. I'm switching out. That was actually a bit too close for my taste. So we're gonna go into rattles. Because confusion is annoying in this game. Because you got, like, what, a... 50% chance of hitting yourself in this game? Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm gonna just try to hit through confusion. Okay. And even when I do hit myself, I'm not dealing a whole lot of damage at the moment, so... It's fine. Alright, Ominous win. Let's see. Can we take this thing out? This might one-shot. Not quite. Oh, it has Wish. That's annoying. Okay, if I can snap out a Confusion and finish this thing this turn, then we'll be good. Okay, alright, good. That was close. That's gonna give us a lot of experience, though, so that's not bad at all. Alright. Not nearly as much as I thought, but still quite a bit. Ooh, Rattles leveled up. Surprised he hasn't learned a new move yet. Alright, uh... Who am I? I'm gonna switch out the party, so let's see. I'm gonna put Oliver in front, since he's the lowest. And I'm going to go run back to the Pokemon Center and heal real quick. Is there an item back there? No, there's not, because you can't even get back there. Alright, let's head down. <clears throat> Do, 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 ding, dun, 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 ding. Do, do. <clears throat> All right. We'll be back in about a minute. Then we can take on the uh, the head sage. See what he does give you the TM. I just I wonder what move it's for in, in this. Unless it's an HM and hard gold soul silver. I don't remember if Flash is an HM in this game or not. 
Because I know it's at HM in Gen 3, but I don't know if it's in Gen 4. Because this is the one that has Rock Climb as a... As an HM. <clears throat> Alright. So now we're going to head back over to... The... Sprout Tower. That's what I like to see. Cool, cool, cool. Oh. Mm. Okay, we had a Manaphy appear in Route 31. There's a Fiona in the Sprout Tower. It's weird. Alright, uh, let's just take this thing out. The legendary Pokemon usually give decent experience. If I can get Confusion here pretty quick, that'd be nice. Because that means that I would... It's a better Psychic-type move than Psy Wave, And then on top of that, Confusion is actually good in this game, and opposed to how it is in the newer games. Alright. That did one damage. Nice. Okay, cool. Oliver should level up from this. 94 experience. That's not bad. No new move, though. Alright, cool. Everyone's level 7, I think, now, so that's good. And then Infernape, or, uh, Sun is level 8. Tunnel is level 8. And then... Yeah, Rattles is level 9. Alright. So, there's... What did I name the rival? I don't even remember. What is it? Oh, Charles, that's right. Yeah, good old Charles. He's using the escape rope that I'm not going to get. Alright, I want to see what this item is real quick. A lemonade? Okay, that's not bad. It's just a healing item, but it's basically a max potion. Alright, so we're going to take on the Elder Sage. What's his name? Scribe Lee with his Houndor. Okay, that's a, that's a dark type. We're not staying in on that thing. So we are going to switch out and go into... Not you to you diamond yeah i'm not gonna i'm i don't want to lose a pokemon this early in the run granted i don't want to ever lose a pokemon but if i lost a pokemon this early i would be pretty upset this should do like half damage okay yeah okay yeah we'll take it out next turn it boosted its uh, special attack to use a physical move smart all right that thing's down What's he got now? What you got, Scribly? Oh, Oliver's level 8. Ty oh, Tyranitar? Yeah, okay, well, this thing's the best chance that we have. But, okay, it's got Tyranitar. That's actually terrifying. Okay, let's see here. Uh, I'm just gonna go for Water Gun. Oh, that's doing a lot. And that didn't do a lot. Oh, crap. <sighs> what moves does Tyranitar know at level 7? It knows Bite. Uh, I'm looking it up real quick. Because... It knows Bite. What else does it know? It's level 7. Come on. Alright, Bulbapedia. Alright, I just need to know if it has any moves, if it has rock or ground moves. So, game data, what do we got? Gen 4, Gen 4, Gen 4, Gen 4. Alright, Gen 4, it knows Bite, Leer, Sandstorm, Screech. Okay, it doesn't know a rock type move yet, though, so... I mean, I don't even know why I'm sitting here talking about it. I could, I should have just switched into Rattle, because he's just kind of my go-to solution for every problem. I'm sorry about that. Alright. Oh, wait, that's why. Because it knows Bite. <laughs> I'm dumb. Alright, although that's not going to kill yet. Alright, so I'm going to go for the Dragon Breath. If I'm lucky, it'll paralyze. If not, it's still going to do a lot. Ooh. Oh, I don't like that. 
I don't like that at all. This thing is actually really scary. Uh, nice bite. So that takes out him, him. What's Sun have? I could just try using Leer. Okay, because it, because I resist, I resist bite because I'm fighting. So I'm just going to go in and start using Leer. Okay, that's five damage, crit. That still won't kill at this rate. Alright, I'm just going to Leer. Yeah, okay, that's all it's going to do is bite. I just have to use my healing items if it comes to it. <clears throat> okay. Sun is doing a pretty good job. I'm going to heal him up so he doesn't... So, like, the worst-case scenario doesn't come to fruition. I also probably could have gone for whirl uh, Whirlpool... I'm going to use one more uh, Leer, and then I'm going to try to take him down with Scratch. Yeah. Alright. We got this. We got this. Hopefully. Knock on wood. Nice, nice, nice. And Scratch. How much is this going to do? Still not very much. Hmm. Get a crit. Crit, crit, crit. Uh... Alright, well, I outspeed this thing, so I'm... Hmm. Well, you know what? I'm gonna heal up so that way I can just stay in with Sun on the next turn. Hopefully he gets a Fighting-type move soon, because he does not... If we had a Fighting-type move on Sun, this, this would be a lot... This would be over a long time ago. I wouldn't have to use the Leer stuff. Alright, take him out. I don't think Taunt is very useful at the moment. Maybe later, though. That was a lot of experience, though. I will give him that. Jeez, he almost leveled up twice. Diamond levels up? Sandstorm's still going, because weather. Uh, then Clefairy. I'm not worried about Clefairy. It's normal, and Fairy isn't out in the game yet, so I'm just going to stay in. It might have metronome though, so that's that that is scary. If it has metronome, I can taunt. Oh, sing! It hits sing. Hmm. Not a fan of that. Although at this point, Clefairy is also taking damage from the. <sighs> I'm gonna go and do tunnel. Double slap. Why is it called Double Slap if it can hit more than two times? This is a bit of a scary battle. I could try switching into... Rattle for when it goes for Double Slap, but he's pretty low. What's his defense look like? I'm gonna go into Oliver. Everyone's getting experience off of this Clefairy. Sing, oh my gosh, it keeps going for Sing. That move only has like 55% accuracy. How does it keep hitting it? Well, regardless, that it's still a bit annoying. Uh, Psybeam. Fast asleep. Uh, okay, well, how much is it damn doing? Alright, it's doing 4 damage per double slap. Oh, critical hit. Don't like that. I'm going to heal up because I assume I won't be waking up this turn anyway, so we're going to heal up, and then hopefully next turn we can wake up and use Psybeam. I might have to grind a bit though before we challenge the gym, and if I do that I'll do it off screen. I'll probably battle the trainers in the gym and then we'll save the gym battle for next episode. That, that sounds good, I'll do, I'll do that. Oh, oh no, okay. Uh, Psybeam. This should kill. Okay, well, no. But, as long... Okay, alright. I'm gonna go for Psybeam, because I think it has 100% accuracy? I might, I should probably check, though, just to be sure. 
Okay, yeah, it has, it has 100% accuracy. We are good. And, okay, that's game. That's game. That was a good battle, though. I, there were a couple close calls in there. The unnecessary critical hit, too. Sun leveled up. Alright, good battle. Scribly. What do we got? TM70. What move does that teach us? So it is not a, it is not an HM in this game. I mean, yeah. What is it? Stomp. Okay, Stomp is actually like a really good move, but no one can learn it except for Grumpig, and he's a special attacker. And what about Aqua Jet? I'm probably going to save this. I just want to see who all can learn it. Everyone except for the water type. Alright, uh, yeah, so let's just head back. I'm going to put the Pokemon with the most HP out front, though, just... Uh, actually... Yeah, I'm just... No, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, cool. And we will use a potion just to be safe. Because I just don't want to lose a Pokemon here. And I'm probably just going to run away from all the uh, Pokemon that I see. This is just in case we get into a battle that we fail to run away from or something. Which I don't think we we're, we're going to fail any runaway attempts considering I have a Giratina and the stats are better than everything else in this tower, probably. Especially like all the water. Okay, well we didn't even find anyone, so I just kind of wasted a potion there. But it's fine, we, we got the money from beating the scribe guy, so let's just head on over and we will heal up our Pokemon and we're going to go take on the people in the gym. <clears throat> All right, cool. We are going to heal up our Pokemon. Two, three, four, five. Bum, 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 bum. Cool. All right, this is nice. Now let's head on over to the gym. And fight Falconer. Can't I just... Okay, I can skip them, but I don't want to because I just need as many levels as I can get. Uh, I'm just going to lead off with... Actually, no. Yeah, Diamond. Diamond. Definitely Diamond because Grumpig and Ekans already can do pretty impressive stuff, but Clampearl really can't. So Diamond is going to be Ghost Rider Abe with Pichu. Oh, okay. Of course I lead off with a Water type and he sends out a Pichu. Oh, well, uh, it's fine. We'll just switch into Oliver. Oliver kind of pulled through in that last battle, so let's give him some more experience. Tail Whip. It's fine, do that. I think he only knows special moves at this level anyway, so I'm not too concerned about him lowering my... Uh, yeah, okay, well, never mind. He's just going to keep spamming Tail Whip until he dies. Alright, good battle. Good, good battle. Ghost Rider Abe went down. I think he asks for your phone number. No, it's the one of the ones on the route that do. I've played this game too many times. Alright, ho ho, you think you're some kind of big, big shot. Let's see. Alright, what do you have to say? Ghost Rider Rod? Alec? Okay, what? Well, oh, um. Uh, hmm. Alakazam, I don't want to deal with an Alakazam, so I'm going to go into Rattle. Because I think he only knows, like, tele... Yeah, he probably only knows Kinesis and Teleport, actually, because... Kinesis you get from evolving into Kadabra, and then Teleport is just his level 1 move, so maybe I'm just making a big deal. Oh, okay, no, he does know Confusion. That still knows quite a bit. And he did lower my accuracy, so that does stink. Alright, good. I love... Alakazam is such a fun Pokemon to use, because it's such a glass cannon. It does a lot... It does tons of damage in terms of its special attacks. Oh, and he has an Infernape, too. Uh... Let's go ahead and do, uh... Let's go ahead and Diamond. I think he has the better physical defense. Plus, this thing probably has Ember, and he resists that. Because, oh yeah, his is lower level than mine, so I know I, I know all the moves that he has. He has Leer, he has Scratch, he has Ember, and then he has Taunt. 
So yeah, let's go ahead and whirlpool him. Just to get that passive damage going. Woo, spin, spin, spin. That's what I like to see. And then that's not gonna do too much. Actually, I'm not I'm still I did a chunk. Alright, that was good. That was good. 313 experience. That's quite a bit. Ghost Rider Rod went down. He had some strong Pokemon. Alakazam and Infernape. Those are both really good Pokemon. Alright, so I'm going to head back and I'm going to heal up. And then uh, next time we will challenge Faulkner. So yeah. Uh, I guess I'll just start wrapping the episode up here as we get there and go back. So uh, thank you guys for che checking out the episode. If you want to see... If you want to keep in touch with this series, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications, or check out the playlist that I'll be putting on my channel for these episodes. Uh, so yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, hope you have a good day. I'm just going to head over here before I finish recording. So yeah, it's, uh, I'm looking forward to battling Faulkner. I don't know what kind of Pokemon he's going to have, but... We will find out next time, and I will see you all then. Bye-bye.